Today I'm here in front of you to make a video on comparison of ChatGPT with Copilot to understand which tool out of the two is the best tool for writing the automation script or more precisely for automation tester to generate logics. Basically, I will be giving instructions to the ChatGPT and Copilot tools that what really I want the output and let's see whether it is capable of doing it or which one is doing the best. I will be mainly asking them to generate some logic of Java. Let's see whether it can really do it or not. Thank you for joining so much. I hope you can see my screen in which I have two windows present. One is uh, chat GPT and another one is Copilot. I have taken both of them here for the comparison purpose today. And uh, let me give some instruction in both of them the same and see what kind of result they generate. So I'm looking for, can you please help me in reversing the string in Java? I'm going to ask the same question to both of them. And let's see who generates the best result. I mean, many people use ChatGPT exclusively for this. Many people use Copilot exclusively for that. But I want to compare today and show you live that uh, which one can really do the best job, right? So let us check. So, so the first, the chat GPT is telling me that you can do it using the reverse method, using uh, the concept of a string builder. Okay. And uh, Copilot is also telling me the same thing. Okay. <laughs> so that's fine. But you know what? Interviewers will not accept it. Interviewer don't want you to write a program in this pattern, which is fine. I mean, chat GPT has given us the most easiest way, which is appreciable uh using a loop concept where i have done it using the concept of a string i have taken the string and i'm trying to reverse it using the concept of a for loop by uh like going from the back side to the front side and uh, finally uh, reversing it this is what is a real logic of reversing a string which uh, any automation testers can expect that can be asked to them in the real interview so this is what I teach to my students too. And uh, Copilot is also giving me the same thing, which is appreciable. So you can see here for interview style clarity. I mean, to be frank, yes. This is what interviewers expect you to write a code in the real interview. Uh, I mean, I also teach this to my students, but I tell them not to do this in, in the real interview because, you know, interviewers don't, don't like this to happen. And uh, wow, you, if you can really see the chat GPT is giving me four different ways to do that. Uh, it is also telling you to do it using the care array. Oh, using two care array, wonderful. And then coming from the last, oh wow, this is also a great way to reverse a string, right? And uh, if I look at the co-pilot, uh, then it has only given me just two ways. But if you look at the chat GPT, it has given me using recursion also total four ways to reverse the string, right? I mean, both are fine. If you really ask me personally, which one is the best tool for me? Uh, I personally like using chat GPT more, uh, but uh, uh, some places where I don't get the exact result what I'm actually looking for, I also prefer uh, the co-pilot. There is no problem. But uh, uh, today, when I started this session, I made sure that in the chat GPT also, I'm, I'm opening a new window. And in the co-pilot also, it's completely a new window, a completely a new chat, right? Start new chat, right? And uh, we saw that uh, co-pilot gave us two ways to do the same task, but uh, ChatGPT gave me the four ways. So I'm impressed with the ChatGPT for this question.
we'll go ahead with the next one. So I'll click on the new chat and here also I'll click on the new chat and I will write here, I want a Java code where string input is Manish Kumar Tiwari 1 to 10 where the input is Manish Kumar Tiwari 1 to 10 and I want to count the number of characters number of spaces number of numeric values can you please help me to do it i want a java code where string input is this i want to count the number of characters number of spaces number of numeric values can you please help me to do it let's see i'm going to pass the same instruction to my copilot to copilot tool too so let's see here is a simple and clear uh, program to count number of characters spaces and numeric okay and uh, okay let's see so chat gpt is trying to do it using uh using character class okay using uh, is digit and is a space cap okay uh, which is fine so is digit will tell me the count of numeric which is absolutely fine this will help me to for uh, spaces and uh, for additional uh, for anything else it is car so which is which is fine which is fine so it is telling me that in Manish Kumar Tiwari 1 to 0, uh, the total characters are 17, which is fine. Spaces are 2, numerics are 10. And uh, perfect. So this is exactly what I was looking for. But if I see in the copilot, um, almost the same code in both of them almost same i mean in order to find the total count of character right uh, we can also write a different code too but they have written in a different manner which is completely fine the same thing you can also find out using character dot um, is alphabetic sub some method is there um i mean i can check it in my uh, eclipse let me check. Oh yeah, this method is alphabetic. This can help you to count the number of alphabets total used. So I usually prefer that, but whatever they have done is absolutely a great job. There is no problem. So both of them are absolutely fine. Chat uh, Copilot just gave me one answer. And uh, in the chat GPT also, it has given me one answer, which is completely appreciable. In chat GPT, it is also asking me, do you want to include the special characters count too? Uh, yeah, important from the interview perspective. Let me know if you would like to extend the count special characters or letters separately. <laughs> okay, <laughs> almost the same kind of pattern both of them are giving to me, which is absolutely fine. There is no problem. Now, in this, uh, since both of them are the exact code, it's a bit difficult for me to identify or or to guess which one is the best here. I I I give one on one to both of them. <laughs> here, neither the chat GPT is a winner or co-pilot. Both of them have exactly given me the same result. Let's go for the problem number third and uh, see how the result they are generating. So Java code to java code to create a array from scanner class and reverse them 
I need a Java code to create an array from scanner class and reverse them, right? This looks good to me. I'm going to paste it here. I'm expecting ChatGPT to ask me some other queries, uh, but no, I mean, it has given me the result, which is wonderful. I'm also going to paste the same code here also. So let me show you what ChatGPT is telling me. ChatGPT is telling me that uh, takes input uh, of an array using the scanner class, reverses the array. Okay, prints the original and the reverse array. Okay. So I have created an object of the scanner class and passed the parameter to invoke the right constructor, which is fine. Then I have made use of the next int method to take the size, which is fine. And uh, whatever the value that I'm getting from the next int, I'm giving it to the arrays and uh, then I'm reversing it. Okay, this is easy. This is very easy code they have written. If I look at the copilot, Copilot have also created an object of the scanner class pass system dot in to invoke the constructor using next int method. They are taking the input and passing it to the array and then they are reversing it. Mm. How they are reversing it from the last, from the last to the first. Okay. So i is equals to n minus one from the last to the front. Okay, this this is this is easy, and uh, okay. So both of them are fine. Both of them are completely fine. Um, I think what ChatGPT has given me the result that is more appreciable. This makes more. Uh, comfortable for anyone to understand like what exactly has happened. So as a trainer, as a teacher, as a corporate trainer, I will go with the chat GPT answer. I mean, this is giving me more clear understanding of what really, uh, I mean, what really I was really expecting. So the number of elements is five. Enter five elements. These are my, my five elements. These are my original array and these are my reverse array. I mean, this is exactly the way I teach to my students to do it in the, do it. So, uh, so ChatGPT is done with with this, and um, Copilot is also giving me another like, do you want any other things? Okay, so here I will give uh, ChatGPT the winner <laughs> for this problem. So, if I really talk about the two, uh, I mean, as I told you, I personally feel the ChatGPT is really good one but um, i'm not the right person to to absolutely decide this whether chat gpt is the best or the copilot is best in some situation copilot is the best one i'm not denying that in some situation uh, chat gpt is the best one right as a part of this video i have showed you the comparison of copilot and chat gpt for uh, generating uh, java code in the next video i will show you for the map, for the selenium. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.